Hey guys, it's Miranda here at Sunshine and Grace, and today I want to take you through my one of my design team projects for December with Rachel Bell Crafts, and just we're gonna make one of them. On I'm gonna make one with you, and then I'm gonna show you some of the prototypes that I did ahead of time. Started with this one, which is um, part of the Christmas. I'm calling these just plain. Um, I don't want to call them playing card because the last one didn't use. We'll call them card pockets because they're made out of some kind of card. I need to glue this. I saw just a second ago because I missed a piece. I was putting it together last night. I was playing when the cat was like literally helping. So it's a miracle that it even came out. But um, I used two playing cards. Honestly, it came about because I used the number off of a card on the project because I needed a number and so I just tore the number out the corner and then it left like the half of playing you know most of the playing card there and I thought well it was laying on top of the whole card so I could use that how can I use that and I came up with this cut the rest of the corner off so that you have just a little bit on each side and it makes a little slanted pocket slanted card pocket that's what I'll call it slanted card pocket so I used the uh, printed Part of the digital the christmas pass digital kit on napkin decoupage that on there used another piece of it that was printed on just regular copy paper to make a cluster of words here with some book page and a word that i had one of my words that i made and then some bling a little bit of lace and there you have it load that little baby up and it's gorgeous it's so simple and just cute now this one is the exact same thing sheet music for the backing you know, on the back of the card um, it's cut the other direction and I used the roses of redemption kit printed on tissue paper y'all that was that did not go well okay I literally when I got down I got two sheets printed I printed the roses of redemption and inspired dragonfly which we're gonna work with in a minute and literally two pages on the tissue paper and my printer was literally having fits it was printing on itself it wouldn't feed it through it was taped I tried all different things I taped it cardstock that didn't work so but my printer is like a $20 El Cheapo that I bought like four or five years ago to use for homeschooling it was in my son's room okay and yeah now it's just like I'm amazed that it actually prints so it um yeah it just it prints and I've got one on my wish list for Christmas, so uh, hopefully. But so I printed that out, put some lace on it, and used part of another kit that I had left over from. I think it. I have no idea what kit it came from. It was one of Rachel's kits, but it was literally just like that phrase, just like I have this phrase left over, that was in the box of Rachel's stuff. So that phrase came from her, but I don't know which kit. Um, and glued on there and again absolutely adorable so I thought well I love them small but what if I want something bigger so I grabbed index cards that I had copy dyed which did not need any backing because that's already pretty cool and interesting and then I decoupaged the inspired dragonfly kit over just a plain white one I think you can see that in there that was like the cheapest index cards I could find and they work for thickness, but they're, you know, they're really cheap. They don't have lines or anything. Again, lace, little cluster of lace and bling, and a word torn out of something. I'm bad to, like, if I print them off weird or something, I'll take what I can off of it and use it. So, I didn't keep it. I just pile all of it, like, if it's from one of Rachel's kits, it goes in one bucket. If it goes, you know, somebody else's kit, it's in another bucket. It came out of Rachel's bucket, so, um... And there you have it again super simple and easy so what I'm gonna do is do one with you I'm using this index card which is very very pretty sparkly I don't know if the sparkle shows in camera or not but it's got sparkle to it and a little bit of color there so what we want is this one I cut it this way I want to cut this one this way so that you see the pretty stuff there the green and the red 
So I want to kind of mark where I want to cut. Make it like right there. Can I make a little finger nub? Because I have to bring in my uh, paper cutter because that's too far for me to get a straight cut for some reason. Okay, we don't want that deep. Well, you could do it that way, but I don't want to. Okay, I'll find my little nub. Line it up somewhere. I think like that'll work. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I just jiggled you all over the place. Okay, so there's that. Let me grab a piece of paper to lay down. And we are going to put some glue on here. The glue has gotten very thick this morning. I've done, this will be the fourth one. I've recorded this like multiple times to get a recording that didn't get all messed up somehow. Because nothing ever goes the way I plan it to in this house. I mess up misspeak or do something goofy and like you know fall out of my chair <laughs> or some other goofy thing drop something majorly and have to you know like really mess it up and I know there's a pause button somewhere on there but I can never get to it when I need to so I always end up just hitting the stop button okay there's that that is got a lot of glue that glue is really getting thick let me find the lid because I'm going to go ahead and cut that because it's starting to get a little weird okay here's the piece of the uh, Imagine Dragonfly Inspiration Dragonfly kit that we're going to use and you know, this is the thing I like about the tissue paper if it's quick you can get it off of there okay let's do it this way what do you say Make sure that we actually get it all severed. Okay. It doesn't have to be straight. I mean, you're not. You know, to me, that just adds more interest to it. If it's a little wonky. So. There's what we have. Now, this is how I'm doing the edges to get like a kind of softer look. Because I like that on these. And with tissue paper especially. Or with the napkin, the sanding block is actually easier than trying to uh, cut it. Let's just say that I learned the hard way on that. Okay. And I'll have lots of nice little tiny bits to play with later. Or the cat will. She is um, upset with me at the moment because I was not wanting to have any more playtime this morning. <laughs> We played for a long time, and I let her nap on me for a long time, so she should have been content, but she was not. She was like, nope, we need more. And I was finally like, I got work to do, chick. You're just going to have to go play. And she she wandered around looking out the door and stuff for a few minutes, but then she went to lay in our bedroom. That's where she goes when she's like stressed out or tired. Or Okay, so... Perfect. Still gonna let those colors show. I like that. Okay, let's get our glue on. You could sew this, and I may sew through this. I didn't want to sew through the um, playing cards ones because they were so thick, but you could um, probably sew through this pretty easy. And I might do that later because I do like the look of stitched. And the last time I tried it last week, my sewing machine was playing nice. So usually it's only one machine that won't play nice at a time. So if the sewing machine, you know, if the printer is acting up, the sewing machine's good, and the Cricut's good. So the Cricut was good last week too. It worked well. Some days, oh my lands, there's been a couple days I actually thought I was gonna throw that thing out in the yard. 
I was so upset when I first bought it. I could not figure that thing out. It did not want to work right. And they had to send me, I'm on my fourth one. They sent me three. I bought the first one and they had to send me three replacements because it was just every one of them was jacked up. Wouldn't work right. Okay. I'm going to use this phrase. For God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and of self-control. That's 2 Timothy 1.7. I'm going to ink that because I want to lay it down. I don't want to glue it yet, but I want to lay it down while I pick my lace so I know how much space I've got to work with because it is kind of big and it'll go right there. So, got to decide. That was smaller. Actually, I really like that look. It's too wide. Let's see. What else do we have? What about this? I don't know why, but for some reason, I was thinking maybe black. Because the white didn't show up very good on it. What about this? Well, those are too wide. It's got to be kind of thin. Maybe. Thin or just uh, not have a lot. Maybe also have this appear. Like this one, I haven't tried it. Yet. That's the thing because it is different. Oh, I don't like that. It is a different spot. It might show up different if I use just a plain lace. So yeah, that one like shows up better. And then I have this. If I don't care if it doesn't go all the way. Hmm. No. What do I do with this stuff? No. Nah, nah, -uh. that don't work. Mm, no, you know, I wish it wasn't so wide. But I think I like that one the best. I'm gonna put my glue down. I do I like this one. I don't know why, but the black was really speaking to me. I think I'm gonna use it, but I'm just gonna leave it like overhanging the top a little bit so it's not so long. Of course, then you don't see all that. So maybe we will push it down. Pretty much flat, yeah. I like that one the best, though. I'm trying to keep that camera down lower so that I can get stay in frame easier, but now I keep hitting it with my head. I just felt it brush my hair. Okay, more glue than that. The glue's been sitting out for like hours now, so starting to dry up a little bit. It's... Yeah, I like that. That turned out right. The black just kind of had some pop to it that I felt like it needed. Partially because I'm getting ready to put a big bold three on there. So I wanted something that would kind of work with that. extra glue there on the end to help hold it together because it seems like it's going to be kind of finicky. There we go. I'm going to ink that a little more right there. I found that if I go back and forth, I can get almost a burnt look that I really like, like a depth to it, but, and then it kind of spreads inside too a little bit. I don't know, it just gives a slightly different look to it. Or maybe it's just me and I'm crazy this morning because, yeah, I'm going on for a little sleep for the last few days. Okay, there we go. So we're going to put that on, and then... 
I have this, which is the part, this is what I was doing when I discovered the project, was making little numbers like this. I was using them for a Christmas project, um, swap that I'm doing. I want to ink that a little bit to get some color to it, and then I'm going to kind of stick it somewhere. Maybe right there. Or maybe not use it at all, actually. Oh, yeah, up there. That'd be cute. Okay. Let's glue this down. These are so simple if you don't overthink it like I'm doing. Because I am tending to overthink it a little bit today, but that's okay. We'll glue that little puppy down in the corner. Okay. There it is. Let's glue off. So there we have it. Do I want a little bling somewhere? Well, y'all know me. I gotta have a little bling. What about right there? Yep. That's about where it's gonna go. glue is finally getting thick enough to actually work after weeks of trying to fight with it of course now I've got it all up on okay just gonna put that bling right there and there we go done let's tuck a couple things in it so you can see what it would look like we have rejoice always pray without ceasing and everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you that in there. This came from the um, In Everything Give Thanks kit by Rach. That came from a freebie in the Journal Trading Post group, I think. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Okay, it says through him, but it's obviously not King James, so we're going to tuck that in there too. And then I'm going to tuck, this came out of a uh, book, <laughs> magazine. Looks like ICR. I'm going to tuck that in because I like that picture and it kind of goes with this. And then I have this from one of the freebies in group. Giant General Trading Post with Rich and Bella Crafts also. That um, you can get. Why isn't that coming through? Because oh, I'm getting it stuck in that. Okay. I'm messing my thing up there. Okay. So there you go. You can load that. Why is that sticking? And load this little pocket down pretty good with stuff and these would be really cute for happy mail or just to clip it into a journal page because they are not very thick at all even if you put several pages in there you know little things in there i could probably fold that postcard i don't even like it in there but you can see you can put quite a bit of stuff in there it's not thick it's not going to take up much space so there you have it guys this is one of my design team projects they are Planted corner pockets and I did they can be done with playing cards index cards really anything card stock you want to cut it I'm not gonna go to that much effort to actually cut out squares so because I have all this stuff at hand so there you go super simple super cute and very fun so I hope y'all like it um I mentioned printers on my wish list for Christmas. If y'all have a recommendation on printers, um, I would love it if you'd leave me a comment telling me what printer you like and why you like it. Or what, sell me on it. Okay? Leave that comment below. Y'all hit that bell, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And before I go, I just want to remind you, Jesus loves you so much. He died for you. If you've not trusted that fact, then I'd urge you to do so today because nobody's promised the next second. Whether you know it or not, you're going to live forever, either upstairs or down. Trust me, you want to go up. So if you've not trusted the gospel of your salvation, then I'd love to tell you about my precious Savior. Tell you the greatest love story ever and get you settled for all eternity right now. So just drop a comment below or look me up on Facebook, Instagram, Rumble, MeWe, Pinterest, and Twitter. I'm going to tell y'all, I'm not on MeWe or Rumble that much because I can't figure those little puppies out. <laughs> 
if you message me, it'll ding me and I'll try to figure it out and answer you. <laughs> so, um, and I am working on it. It's a slow process though, but you can find me Miranda McCulley or Sunshine and Grace JJ or journals. If you have any questions about anything, the projects I make or your eternal state, y'all get a hold of me. It'd be my joy to answer them. You have a great day and we'll chat soon. Grace and peace. Bye-bye.